as you remember, double spin run for series that I'm doing with the Red Hawk. Remember to check his channel, it's about doing the same speedrun by two different creators in two different ways. And today we are going to have an Irish double speedrun, when you have to start as an Irish minor, wing to directly own and score the entire Great Britain region. And what's important, we have to do it in less than 100 years and we can form whatever we want in the run. Let's get to this. Remember that if you want to get notified about this series or any other series, subscribe to the channel because I can see that only 40% of you are subscribed right now. So for this amazing challenge, I decided to choose Offaly. This is because of a few reasons. Of course, geographical position is very important because I can make claim on almost everyone. In the ideas, have improved relations, which will be super important for a speedrun. While also ruler is not that bad, it's one of the best rulers in Ireland and he's also having improved relation bonus. I'm not sure if it's hard coded or I just lucky, but this is going to be super useful for us. I'm gonna just quickly go for the estate setup, but it's very much same as usually. We are a kingdom, it means that we can get our crownlands to 5%. So I'm gonna get one power point from each of the estates, I'm gonna get a cheaper advisor and just additional privileges to increase their influence and loyalty. And sell the titles, dev the province again. So now we can just go and seize land. So everyone is still happy, we have 93 ducats and we have 5% of the crown land. My king is going to be 2 free land general, it's not that bad. And here I'm not gonna get any focus yet, because in early game we'll need more admin points for the coring, but later I also need out of mill points to get ahead in the tech, especially ahead of England, which is having a 0, 0, 0 ruler after all. This is actually funny, all of the Irish that are bordering me are having either 1 or 2000 troops, I have 4. This is just weird, I'm just right now of course building the spy network and I'm gonna go and claim and kill them. And with my <laughs> super positive balance I'm gonna get a military advisor and I'm gonna get an admin advisor, because those two power points are going to be key while my ruler is having 4 on the diplo. Let me create the first claims, number 1 and number 2. So this, see, Ormond doesn't even have a single thousand of troops, which is even more weird. I'm gonna get a free company, which costs me less than a level 1 advisor, so it's super worth it. And it's 4,000 troops that we're gonna use to do multiple wars at the same time. So I'm gonna go and attack Ormond right away. As long as they don't have any allies, let's just go for the conquest. I'm gonna send uh, my normal army over there. And also I'm gonna just delete the calf unit and get a normal leader over here, this one siege leader, this is very useful. Why on the Kildare, Kildare is allied to Ulster. So remember, we have a mission tree and there are different regions that we have to conquer to receive new claims and those two would be very important to get it. Either those two or I go for those, but Munster, Munster is going to be the most problematic one to deal with. Attack Kildare right now, just declare the war, conquest and stack wipe these guys right away. Yep. Let's see if just killing army of Ulster and staying on their province will be enough to piss them out. I'm not so sure about this, but let's go and try Mr. Ulster. Next month, this is actually not that bad. Of course, I'm gonna go and piss out Ormond. So check. The one disadvantage of the nation that I started as is that we are not starting with a navy. So what I'm thinking about is to go and attack one of the nations that is bordering us, but instead of Annexing them, I'm just gonna vassalize them to use their fleet because pretty much everyone starts with 10 ships. Now as I got some aggressive expansion rant, I'm just gonna go to my trade node and change the focus to not spy network construction but improve relations. The aggressive expansion will be going down rapidly. Sligo is going to be my victim of a nation that I'm just gonna go and annex. So that will be my vassal. So let's just keep the Merex on the siege and those guys will be waiting for the claim. Those guys are like England! That might be more problematic. You can see that war between France and England is already going on and Scotland, which is surprising, is actually helping France. So normally I would go and annex Sligo and release them as my vassal. That would give me some crown land and I would have fixed relations with them. But we need the fleet. So I'm just gonna go and do it this way. Ofali vassal. I'm gonna get some money on top of that and send the 
peace deal. Now of course they are disloyal, but they're not that much disloyal, it's more all about fixing the relations, which I'll start doing as soon as I create the claims on my neighbor. We theoretically have an issue, because England is allied both to Tyrone, Ulster and Leinster, all of those three countries. But the thing is, England is quite exhausted by the war, so it means that they are not going to help the allies. So we need to build a claim, especially on the northern guys, because these guys are also allies to Munster, which is quite problematic for us because they have a level 3 fort. But maybe if we just kill the army and stand on the fort, it will be enough to separate prison. I think that's what I'm gonna try doing here. And let's see. Is it enough how close we would be to white piece? Not there yet. We've got a new error which is 2-2-2 two, two, two. and I'm gonna eat him for sure. But first, I want to get my mission to gain up to 30 prestige. Good news is that England separate peace Scotland and they broke the alliance with France, so it will be way easier to go and take them down. Imagine sitting a level 1 fort in 500 days and it's still ongoing, it's stuck on 35%. Maybe. Nope. This is my just typical luck, you know, guys. <laughs> we'll get to 600 days knowing it. Another this is outbreak. Maybe we can even hit 700 if we try hard over here. Come on. I was joking with 700 days. I was joking. It's already 659 and we're running out of money. So I'm just gonna go to burgers and get some loans from them. So we have 57 more ducats. Wanted to wait a little bit more to get more development for it, but uh, it's fine. Okay, now. From this war, I'm gonna go and uh, give this to my vassal, so Sligo. Or Sligo. So those two provinces are giving, going to me. That's a little bit of, I guess, expansion. And then can go and help with the Siege of Munster now. Same thing will go here. This is additional, I guess, expansion, so take it. Whew. Yes, let's go. I'm gonna get those two. Missions, which is giving me perma claims or runs, very useful. And I'm gonna start calling this princess just after I decrease the war exhaustion, so I can take the mill tech, diplo tech, and so also the admin tech for myself. I'm gonna go and get ready for another war, which has to be on Tyrone because England is still not so willing to join the war. So you have to go and really, really Raj MACP. This is not the end. While I'm sieging those two guys at the same time, I'm going to attack Tomont for also conquest. 20 years of more of armies even is going to be super useful for both war against Scotland and England because I'm planning to do it in less than 20 years, at least the first war of England. What I can pretty much do is to have the whole island united, of course, except one province from England. How I'm gonna go and play it? I will go and give this province to Sligo and this province to Sligo, so they'll be having the northern part of Ireland and they're gonna go and take those two for myself because remember, we'll need admin points, right? And piece this out, that's even more crowned, which is right now at the level of 22. So what I can do, I can later, when this gets to higher number. Sell the titles and then seize land. So now, I will go to Sligo and I'm gonna give them this one province. So this also unlocks me another two missions and another one here so now we're having claim on pale <laughs> that would be theoretically the next goal to go and attack england so what if we go and rival uh, scotland okay rivals of scotland england and denmark so maybe for example denmark would like to ally us in the long term or maybe france would like to ally us in the long term this is very doable all i have to do is to improve relations with them i can do a magic trick you probably know that already so first of all I'm gonna take a loan to repay all of my 1% loans, yes, that allows me to take these loans now, these 156 ducats, but you can see that I have enough loyalty over the influence of the burgers to cancel this privilege and take it again. So I'm having 300 ducats for which I'm just paying 0.3 monthly of interest. First guarantee form, it's not going to be tax meta this time, let's go for the manpower. And thanks to improvement relations with France, now they are friendly towards us, so I can go and seven an alliance, and I'm gonna go and start carrying favors right away. Well, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna improve with Castile as well, because Castile is a rival of England, meaning 
that the fleet might help us defeat the English one. I can go and send the royal merge to Castile. So once they accept the royal merge, they'll be more willing, yes, to become my ally. So be having an alliance with two major European power. Integration of Sligo just finished. I can go and freely state this whole province. It's going to be a full state. Let me just go and provoke this revolt. So now I can just go and deal with Scotland, which is having apparently only 6,000 troops and both allies not willing to help. So I'm gonna declare right away just to make sure that, uh, you know, the allies won't change their mind. All those heavy ships that I also build are gonna be useful to bridge the walls here, so be able to finish the war a little bit faster. We can go ahead and unlock new idea group right now, which for now is just going to be Humanis, because it can give me an event for the idea cost, which I'll then switch for something else, because I definitely won't have admin mana to fill it. He's engaging me over here on the hill, so it's a bigger stack, but I'm... Look on the discipline and morale differences. This is just an easy battle, and I should be able to go and wyvern on whatever province that they're running away to. Yes, which is exactly this province here. I'm not sure actually if I can wipe them. I can. This is just perfect. I'm gonna pretty much take the border with England, including the fort here, which should be super important as well as all the highlands that I'll need later for the mission tree. This will allow me to piece them out or maybe we'll leave this out and take 84 ducats. That's actually a lot of money for us that we can anyway take them down in the next war. Let's send this kind of the peace deal. So that this expansion is not that big and we'll be able to start preparing to go and deal with England very soon. We don't have that much mana to core everything so I'm gonna release a vassal in the north which is going to be the Isles, and I was even thinking about giving them this fort so they'll be paying for it instead of me, and I think that's going to be an amazing idea. England just decided to warn us, too bad, I am the one that is going to kill them. They have 16,000 troops and no manpower. I just need to make sure that my fleet is hidden safely, and we can go and attack England, for the conquest of palace so this is going to be for this one province i'm gonna send 1k over there then we're gonna anyway focus on defending this fort over here from england with the tech advantage they have few tech 5 i have a tech 6 let's go this is going to be such a tough war guys my ruler also died right now which is actually Mm. Thirds, we have the Valois right now on the throne. Of course, they're building troops and it's already 31,000. So I'm not gonna go very aggressively here. I'm gonna go and build additional few thousands of troops and we're gonna try pushing with 20k of them. Get additional 4,000 of troops. So we have at least any chance of winning here. We've got a new error, which is 614, not so bad. And now it's time to smash the troops of England. Let me just go with those troops at the first uh, moment and I'm gonna reinforce. The the and I should have, oh yeah, yeah I should have uh, went to the battle first with these guys because they were having a nice leader and you can see the losers difference. So I can go and push them farther right now by going straight into this fort. Can we win an actual naval battle with England? We won it! And they actually lost, okay, same amount of the ships as us, but I did not lose any ship by myself. This is gonna be interesting, let's do it. Another try with a battle against England. This time might be having a little bit less of the troops. Well, let's go and try it. Can we win? For fuck freaking sake. The game just trolled me hard, but it's fine, I guess. We're just gonna attack them with one K less troops. And let's see. Those guys might be, they won't be able to reinforce them on time. So with a little bit of the luck, I could be able to even stack by them here. But uh, of course, I didn't have enough luck. And I'm gonna go and try following these guys. So go and stack wipe them 
in a chosen province. Maybe London. Give me London. Give me London. Give me London. Uh, yes. Okay. They have no idea what to do with the fact that a really tiny Irish nation is just completely annihilating them in this war. So I think it's time to peace out. I'm gonna go and do this peace deal. And I should ask for at least, yeah, a little bit of the money. So, let's send the demand. This is a nasty peace deal and their war score cost is still 339% and we got tons of Agas expansion, so we're not even close to get to our goal yet. But what I can do, I can go and take the mission that gives me claims on England, I can go and take this, which is even more claims, you can see that it's looking really lovely. Due to aggressive expansion, next war has to be focused on taking cores from England. So. On top of Wales that has cores on all of those provinces, I'm gonna also release another vassal in England, which is going to be called Northumberland, or however it is pronounced. They are going to take another one province from us, and this nation is having another one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight cores that I can take in the next war. Favors on Castile will let me go and take ducats from them, my favors on France are gonna let me go and take some manpower that we are missing. As we are hitting the mill points cap in some time, I'm gonna go and cast the Juanis ideas and stick quality ideas instead. And this is because we also want some ship quality. Maybe not even against England, but against Denmark and Norway in the future if he wants to go and take Orkney for our goal. Burgundy just declared war on England, but that's probably just for colors. It doesn't really matter from our point of view. English counter, when I stated all of just only this one line of the promises, is already 20% of my country, we just need to get it to 50. This monthly autonomy change is going to be super useful because we are back to gaming at 5% of the crown land for tons of the money that we are getting. Okay, Mr. Scotland, you lived enough. Leash is gonna help you, but <laughs> how they gonna help you? I have no idea. This is going to be an easy and pleasant world. Hey, look, we are back to the old UI. No, I haven't planned this, but Paradox Launcher decided to delete half of my mods and it's not even allowing me to resubscribe to any of the older mods so i'm playing without my old ui mod over here anyway oh no anyway i'm gonna go and take admin tech i'm gonna take the diplotex i'm not so behind in them anymore i'm even ahead you can see that france is going to join my war while castile is not so willing because of that i'm gonna go for the war goal of york which would be reconquest of for Northumberland. I almost forgot that I was supposed to build some artillery, so I'm gonna build 2,000 to get the fort quicker. My guess is that we should completely annihilate army of Brits over here, but it's not might be that easy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't easy at all. We've lost way more troops here, but we won. That's the most important part, and we're gonna get whole army here so we can finish the siege before they finish the siege of Wales. I think that I should be able to stack wipe the last army of Brits over here, unless they luckily manage to get away from this, which is actually possible. Yes, they did. But anyway, we have 99% of the war score, which gives me all of the cores here, all of the cores here, and one, two, three, four promises for myself. Considering that two of them are trade centers is also gonna help us a lot with the income and they are not accepting the peace deal yet because I need to switch down one more province. And the most important part of this peace deal honestly is this, it's only 48 aggressive expansion on England. You will see that in Europe, when I take this peace deal, in Europe there is pretty much no aggressive expansion because I was only taking course of my vassals and now the war score cost of the rest of the English provinces is still quite big because it's 218 percent what we are getting there second idea group that I'm gonna unlock is gonna be I'm not really sure I'm gonna go for the diplomatic which would be very useful you know what there's no time to waste so my goal for the war with Denmark is to just get the war goal which is this island which I need for our challenge and then just stay on it until they will be bored of the war so I'll be able to speed them out for just this one province for 7% of the war score. Looks like Castile is thinking about breaking our alliance because they have 
Domineering. Okay, they, I'm, I'm allied to the rival France. Let me declare the war. And we need to rush this province ASAP. Because I feel like very soon they will arrive here with a bigger fleet. While this fleet is gonna go and try to see now the other islands to get a little bit of more of the war score. France breaking alliance. Screw you, France. You can't do anything against me. Should be also able to easily go and try sniping some ships of our enemies because they are having the free split. So you can see that I just can go, wipe those guys. I can go and wipe this fleet as well. Thank you so much. I can go and wipe this fleet. So this way, I'm gonna try creating an advantage on the ships. We even captured a ship from them. With Denmark having medium attitude, I can take the only province that I ever wanted and maybe just a little bit of the money. Thank you so much. So right now we are only left with English provinces to take. So my plan will be a truce with England is gonna end in 10 years. I'm gonna take as much as possible in the next war and then I'm gonna truce break to take the rest of the provinces to finish it by, I don't know, 15-15. This is really funny how like right now all of our loans are 1% loans and this is 20 loans because we keep cancelling and taking this privilege. And even though it's uh, almost 2,000 of debt, I still have a positive balance with trend on the army and the navy, and it's just 1.4 of interest. Well, screw France, I can ally Austria right now, so let's go and send this alliance. I'm gonna go and abdicate our ruler, which is of course a lot of uh, prestige loss, it's a lot of uh, less legitimacy, but it's also worth it because right now we're getting 11 diplo points monthly and I'm gonna go and focus on this as well, level 3. We want to get to this ASAP as how truce with England is ending. They're going to have two allies helping East Asia and Holland, but that's not a big problem. And we're gonna go for a conquest, but a promise for myself, uh, which is going to be there to be. Stop running away from your destiny. There you go. Come on, give me a stack wipe. I just need to kill more troops. Uh, it's not there yet. I could theoretically peace out England already. But first of all, that would be a gigantic coalition, which we don't want to happen. And second of all, I would like probably to take this first. I'm ending up in a war against France anyway, because Austria has a Burgundian succession war. But in this war, see that we have quite an advantage, even if we don't count our army. I'm just afraid that Austria and the allies are going to be completely useless in it. That is going to be also super helpful against England, because if I wanted to peace them out now, it would be far smaller coalition. Okay boys, let's take this. Now the war score cost of for England is for us 175%. So I could still take this amount of the provinces, which wouldn't be big of a coalition, especially if I take them in December. So most of the nations won't be able to join the coalition anymore. Just change this for the improved relations and we'll peace out in December. I'm gonna peace out England now. You see that there's a couple of nations that could join the coalition, but if you go, for example, on Utrecht and see, our I guess expansion is dropping 3.6 yearly. So most of the nations that was able to join the coalition cannot join it anymore right now in January. So that's how it looks like on the aggressive expansion map. The worst case is the France joining the coalition. We definitely don't want that to happen, but we're at war with them. So that is great news for us, actually, that Austria called us, because thanks to it, I'm getting a truce with this nation. Guys, I was thinking, why we have such a bad war score when France is being so much occupied? And then I noticed Ottomans are helping France in the succession war. You can't defeat me. <laughs> he can't. The war just finished, it's gonna give us how much truce with France? It's nine years of truce with France, so it's actually shorter than truce with England. Stating this beautiful provinces is giving me 47% of the English culture, so we need 3% more. Which means that I'm just gonna destate the northern provinces, and there it goes. Cultural shift, just do this. You can see that to form England, we pretty much need London and England to not exist. And you'll see later why we want that to happen. And as I'm not spending that much points on the Diplo ideas, I'm gonna move my main trade center to this province, which should also help us 
with maximizing our income so it won't be 4.7 it should be far more this is six of income yeah that's a nice boost but we definitely need england to get it even higher we're getting a big alliance chunk in the hre which gets me over the relations limit but this is still good we need the alliances to avoid the collision this is going to be crazy so i'm gonna go and ally even a few more countries just to make sure that they will not join my collision start annexing wales but only when wales not northern Berlant. it's gonna take not that much of a time this is going to be lovely this is going to be lovely just look at this guys look at this i'm gonna go for the conquest of leicester and you can see that Half of Europe will be able to join my coalition, but as long as France is not there, we don't really care. I can finish the war with England like really in an express way, and I'm gonna go and give Bordeaux to Gascony because I just don't need it, and take everything else for myself. This is even more of expansion, but we don't care about it at this point. And all I need to do is to start calling London, but before I do that, I'm gonna take this and this. I don't need to call any other province and you will see very soon uh, why all i'm gonna do is just decrease the, the work session a little bit and increase the stability about stability we just lost another one because our ruler just died but it's fine and uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and build up our army to the first limit try preventing the coalition from happening as much as possible i don't think it's gonna come but we need to be very cautious. Annexation of ways is finished. That was actually faster than I thought. And uh, that's actually too bad because I wanted to show you a funny trick with them. But I'm going to show you the same trick with Northumberland because I'm not annexing them as you can see. With London Court, I can just go here and form England. Thank you so much. Uh, except, of course, a nice color. I can just go right now to Northumberland and start annexing them. You can see the cost is zero. This is because I got cores on the promises. So I just go here. I wait a month tick. <laughs> the collision is being... This is unexpected that the collision is being dissolved. But very welcomed. And you can see we just united the whole British Isles. I can even take a mission. But it doesn't really matter. And in my opinion, this safe would even be very playable. Because we are ahead in the text. Uh, we can take the institution any moment it's spreading inside our country and we have only 10 1% loans which cost us one ducat monthly so this is a very easy and very nice campaign if you want to continue it and it would be even easier if i just waited 10 more years and don't do a truce break without a truce break i wouldn't have any coalition but of course that was a speed run 1515 it is i hope that the red hawk did not choose the same country as me personally i think that i could do it at least 10 years earlier i could play it a little bit better on a few parts and i also think starting as an irish minor with a navy would be a little bit easier than starting with my position but on the other hand we have the improved relations and ideas which was very helpful throughout the whole campaign so guys make sure to go and choose what Red Hot prepare for you because I'm pretty sure he also did it very quickly maybe even quicker than us I'm really interested to see it I'm just gonna go and watch it as well exactly right now so for today thank you so much for watching and remember to leave a like to let me know that you want me to continue doing more videos in this style